Direction change is redirecting the downhill momentum of the skier from one direction to the next. This video focuses on the movements required to build a platform for redirection, as well as how to use pressure and bending of the ski for direction change. Two key ingredients are required for a carved arc. We need the ability to tip the ski onto its edge and manage pressure so the ski bends to create a direction change. A steep edge angle or line of inclination without pressure will not result in a direction change. If a less carved arc is desired, we add a twisting of the ski on the surface of the snow. A ski twisting on the surface of the snow with very little edge angle or pressure will also not change the direction of the skier. Let's take a look at a carved arc first, starting with how to build our platform for direction change. The most important part is to create your line of inclination with the lower body. Look how the angle of the upper body through transition doesn't change. It's the lower body that creates the new platform and edge angle, establishing a steep line of inclination. The action to achieve this is rolling your foot onto the inside of your first met head and heel pad, which will start the process. We also want to use our adductors to rotate the femur in the hip socket. Continue this action establishing your platform. The steepness of your line of inclination is a direct result of the degree of these actions. If the terrain or speed requires a less carved arc, we reduce our edge angle and add a twisting of the ski on the surface of the snow. The action required is the rotation of the femur in the hip socket, as well as the turning of the foot and the ski on the snow. With a platform now established for a skidded or carved objective, let's look at the movements that will result in pressure bending the ski and the resultant direction change. Changing your lateral alignment to ensure the ski is bending, simply connect to the outside ski. This movement ensures our weight is balancing to the outside, so the combined edge angle and the forces in skiing result in the ski bending. Note, this is not trying to move your hip inside your feet, it's about connecting to the outside. Look at the line of inclination. It's my upper body that connects by bringing my armpit down toward the top of my outside boot. These angles ensure the ski bends and we change direction. Here's a drill to illustrate. Hold your poles in your elbows. Lock your thumbs over the poles. Now connect to your outside foot by dropping the end of your poles toward the outside of your boot. This movement will result in your edge angle increasing slightly, but most importantly ensuring our balance is on the outside ski. On easy terrain, practice connecting to the outside ski. I also use this drill to illustrate how our upper body alignment doesn't change as we use our lower body to create our new platform for direction change. I'm Warren Jobbit, and that's Technique Exposed. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a like. Send me your comments, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and my Facebook page.